welcome to disco dj welcome guys again to this wonderful channel if you're new please make sure you subscribe make sure you've told a friend about this channel because everything that i'm about to share with you guys is worth your watch so let's just go just direct like you can see on top here the one which is circling around there we have the list of the songs it has categorized the songs like you can see on the desk one the one which has played on deck one are these songs dance ikibamba fk extended on the left while on the right it has uh on the deck two like you can see up here we have something like a jog dix which is one written one and this is two on the right like you can see it has categorized these uh these songs so it is easier to interact with the songs on this uh you know if you have if you want to maybe put your playlist now when you tap this the other one which is just beside this one which is circling up here this one here now it gives you the songs which you want to load on your tracks like for example uh show my josie i want it to play on deck two so i have to load it on deck two and uh i when i scroll down i want bill nas this one to play on jogwheel one so i come here i select i select one here and load on deck so you're well sorted out so like you can see it's very simple to load your songs on this uh mixing software like i've been telling you for those who are having problems in your cross digital application you can try to use this application practice makes perfect the good thing about this application is that it has so many keys when you interact with the real i mean cross uh turntables it has a similar uh you know this volume here the gain the good thing about this like you can see on the left here we have the hot cues like you, you can just tap here on the delete here on the left you delete this and then you delete your hot cues one two three four and then you can set your hot cues now i want to set on that option so i aligned it well then i select one and then release it so when i tap q it has to just start from that point so let's listen out and see if it's uh, the truth Like you can see it is just on the go when you tap q it just goes on the go so let's see on this deck deck uh, b on this side let's align it yeah that way and then let me just delete these hot cues i set previously then i set the recent recent one here so um i don't know why it is doing that so i've set one so i just go tap this button q here down below so when i tap it it also should sound the same like i've played on the on the left side like you can see it is very easy to use these application now let's go to the loop section here if you look very clearly we have in and out in the loop section here just be very careful we have we have some orange buttons here we have i mean the yellow it's not orange sorry i'm colorblind little bit but you can see here we have orange i mean uh yellow which is in and out when i tap eight it is going to loop up to number eight and uh, this kind is very different from the cross digit application so when i tap it it is just going to loop towards eight and it's going to play when i tap number eight so if you have any problems just look at this carefully and uh, understand it so i'm going to tap number eight <laughs> like you can see you can also tap number eight while it's playing you can just still tap q and it does not have any problems like for example the cross digit application it might be maybe lagging so with this one it does not lag 
So I'm telling you, if you have any problems, please install this application and let's learn as we go. So like you can see, it's very easy to hot cue and loop on these songs. Now to synchronize these buttons, just down below we have the sign. They say, let me just zoom because this one also offers that option. Let me just zoom. Sorry. Sorry. Let me just zoom. So like you can see here, we have the synchronize button just down below. Uh, when you tap it, it's just going to synchronize your songs to match the one which is playing on the left or either the right. So let me just unzoom out. <clears throat> so let me just go back. So like you can see, it is now sorted out. Let me lock this part. So when you tap the sync, is going to synchronize with the left. Like you can see here on the left, it's 99. And the one which is here is 83. So when I tap the sync, you know what it does. So it is going to synchronize. So it has already synchronized. You can see. So that's how it goes. Now let me just uh, go back. So let me just go back. Let me remove this first. Okay, that way. Now align it. Q. So, uh, guys, I was forgetting something. With this kind, uh, with this software of mixing, when you tap the Q, it does not automatically set. So you have to be faster so that you don't forget where to hot Q your songs. Similarly, when when you look at uh, cross DJ application, it usually saves your hot cues. But this one, it does not save your hot cues. So you have to be very vigilant and also fast in looking at that. So guys, those are the basic things we can first learn on this. So let's try and mix and see if it's going to... Uh, I'm going to mix with you guys. We are learning together, isn't it? So we're learning together. Let's see if it is going to be a very worthy mix.